what a wonderful hymn and what a wonderful singer and you know when I listen to that it does it takes you off and you know you can't begin to imagine the emotions it gives one when one believes in you know your country etc and you know, have this fabulous feeling of um, elation I think that is basically something that we all feel and when you see Poppy Day and these things this is the sort of hymn that takes us into another world but also you know this sort of hymn should also um, help us to understand that our lives are very shallow if we don't have a belief we should have a belief and one of the things that I've been trying to impart to people over a long period of time and that is the fact that you know um, we as people have had a belief and if we lose that belief we could get another belief foisted on us because people who don't have beliefs already be taken over by another belief and when I say that I'm talking about you know this Islamic thing and even the Catholic thing we in actual fact are Protestant people who have had an independent nature uh, for many many centuries and we've all also had democracy and what this has been foisted on us is a non-democratic union ruled by an elite uh, a European elite through the Commission which is corrupt and the Parliament the European Parliament is exactly like the Soviet Union's uh, um, Supreme Soviet which was a rubber stamp it had no power at all and that's basically what we've got there and our country has now become like a state, you know, like a, a small um, sort of province of this last large empire. And uh, one of the, the, the president sort of said, yes, it's like an empire now. And you know, it's all coming out now what their intentions are. Now they've got this wretched constitution, perhaps, which uh, our prime minister lied to us and called it a treaty. It's not a treaty. It's the constitution with a few of the clauses changed around. Everybody's admitted it, uh, but he didn't want he didn't want a referendum because he knew that uh, the British people didn't want it. I mean, how can one man hold a whole country where 80% of the people don't want it to ransom? It is just absolutely maddening. And they try to blame everything else, you know, or oh, this is why it's unpopular, or, you know, there's this or that, the next thing. It's only one thing. There's a lot of us who are really riled about the way we are being railroaded by this man and you know it's about time we as a nation got back our beliefs too so that we we can be what we were before have high moral concepts and not go down this road that we're into now people say oh there's no harm in this and why shouldn't we hand over our information and all this to the governments etc well let me remind you that uh, when Hitler took over Europe they had all this information in these dictatorial states that were there before Hitler arrived and all he had to do was fill it, feed it into the IBM Horrorth machines which made that entirely possible. It was IBM who supplied the Horrorth machines that enabled all those people to be quickly identified and they say they could not have run that uh, terrible system without the Horrorth machines supplied by a IBM Europe who were there right the way through the war, maintained it and trained the Nazi government to run it terrible situation moral decrepitude and that's one of the people who actually helped help the Nazis find the Jews and find all those other people that they successfully murdered so please don't tell me about what harm can it be and what do you try to hide it's got to do with the freedoms that our forefathers fought for for particular reasons if you haven't done history then you won't know about Star Chamber and the fact that people used to come along and knock on doors and take people away we in actual fact do not want that. Don't, don't tell me it won't happen because they didn't think it would happen in the 30s either. They didn't think it would happen in the 30s. I don't think they thought it would happen in the Soviet Union. Just look what happened. And this particular group here that we're getting formed now in Europe, which is called the European Union, just look at the, the, um, the uh, human rights record of Europe over the centuries. It's appalling absolutely appalling if you look at all the rulers that have been there and then uh, at the behest of the Catholic Church which 
uh, apparently, according to what I read now, and uh, 52 million were killed. You know the reason why South Africa has uh, the vineyards down there is because the Huguenots have fled. The Huguenots were Protestant in France. They fled France because the Cardinal Richelieu tricked the king of those days in France into assigning away their rights, and he attacked the free cities uh, in France. And those people got out, some of them got out with their lives, a lot didn't. And there's the Waldenses and a whole lot of other people who, who are killed. So please don't tell me about what you've got to hide. That is not the point. The point is that Europe has got this terrible human rights record, and look what happened under Hitler. Thank you very much, and uh, please have a look at that site there, because there's a lot of stuff in that. Thank you.